and I played finals. I actually didn't win that tournament, but then in my heart, it feels like that was my first tournament because I was eight and I played finals in an under 16 tournament in my very own club. And it was an amazing feeling. I actually cried after losing to my sister's friend. And I felt bad losing in front of my parents and all. It was my first tournament and I did finals. I, I was a very big fan because of my parents and my siblings. My sister and my brother used to play tennis professionally also. They used to play tournaments everywhere and I was very clingy towards my sister. I liked going everywhere with her. And I used to go to her practice sections with Coach Abel B.A.B. And that's how I picked up the interest. He noticed my interest and he started slowly with me. It wasn't really much of a big deal until later on. She started big interest in the sport of tennis after her uh, immediate senior sister, I mean not Caudry. You know, and the money when I, I usually took I mean not to coach Eber to be the Atakagbe sport uh, tennis court there. So that was a day she decided to stay with her sister. And Coach Abel asked me to just let her be. And along the way, Abel, Coach Abel told me that she will go places I should allow her to, to play. Actually, the first day she came to the course was the enthusiasm. She was everywhere. She wanted to be playing the way the adults are playing at that young age. And she was struggling with everybody. Then I saw that, oh, Let's see how we can keep this interest in her, and that's what we've been doing, which has been giving us good results. She's a promising child. She's somebody I don't even know how to, <laughs> how, where to start to describe her. Because once she wanted to do anything, she always put 100% effort to at least to make sure that she come out with a good result. On our academic, and uh, playing this thing, she always determined to do whatever she planned to do, and it's okay. I'm very happy for her, and I'm very grateful that God gave her to me. One, I know she has that fighting spirit, and what keeps her going with that fighting spirit because of her dream, that she wants to be one of the best in the world. And that is why we came up some years ago, we call it crazy dreams. Crazy dream in the sense that she believed that she can do it. So that makes her to keep fighting on the court. Then in terms of the technical part of it, she's very good. She has a good footwork, good forehand, and the service too is not bad, which to the standard she's having now, which I would say can equate what she's playing for now. I've seen a lot of changes, a lot of improvements. When I went to Morocco, so 2015, I was still playing. I always dreamed about doing big things but I didn't get a lot of chances. It was small girls, small chances in Nigeria. And I started playing internationally more, juniors in Morocco. And I had the chance to play a tournament in Morocco and I got the scholarship to the center. It was a very challenging thing for my parents, leaving me to go to a foreign country at 12 years old. And when I got there, it was a lot of competition because Unlike in Nigeria, I wasn't getting a lot of competition. I was always playing a certain player every time in the finals. But then I got to the center, got a lot of competition. I worked really hard and I came back. I won the three ITF tournaments in Togo. So I think the turning point for me was 2015 when I went to the ITF center in Morocco. Uh, you know, when we discover players at that tender age, we don't know what the future looks like. Because all of a sudden, along the line, the interest may just disappear. But 
thank God for our own case, the interest was there. So we'll be working on that interest. Though our plan was that for her to really get better than where she is now, if we were to be in a better environment in terms of the encouragement. But for the fact that the interest is there and she still keeps fighting and believing in herself. So we we'll keep going on till when she gets what she wants. Well, like I told you, you used to be my sister's coach and I used to go everywhere with her. And so he knew me since I was young, he's the one who made me who made me start playing tennis and all that and we are very close to each other because I tell him literally everything even things off the court because I think it also affects on court so that he understands me better and is able to help me because for me a lot of things that affect my performance are mostly mental so I have to be in a good mental state before I can play good uh, we talk a lot, but one thing is that anytime she loses a match, seriously for her, she always loses interest in the game. Because she believes that she has come this far, and she believes that she can make it. So anytime it happens that uh, the match did not favor her, she always asks, Coach, can I make it? And I keep encouraging her that this is the road that all the champions we've been admiring has gone through. So you can really make it, so you don't need to give up. It's a way of you learning the path to get there. I cannot remember how many tournaments I've won. I've won a lot of tournaments. Um, for me, in my head, my very first tournament that I won would be Central Bank uh, Juniors. That was 2011 when she played her first ever junior tournament, Central Bank Junior Tournament, which she lost in the final. I was eight years old and I wanted to play a tournament and there was a tournament in my club here, Central Bank of Nigeria, but then I was put in the category of 16 and under because yes, I entered late and some few personal issues and I played finals, actually didn't win that tournament but then in my heart it feels like that was my first tournament because I was 8 and I played finals in an under 16 tournament in my very own club and it was an amazing feeling. I actually cried after losing to my sister's friend and I felt bad losing in front of my parents and all, it was my first tournament and I did finals. I was so happy. Though she was crying that day, but I, I let her know that, you know, <laughs> she should forget about it. She lost to uh, Linda Kosile. I think Linda just came back from Botswana that year. But for me, it actually feels like my first tournament that I won. Internationally, it would be my highest grade of tournament that I've won, which is the grade 3. Grade 3 tournament is one of the toughest grades at the junior level. And she played this on a well I call in a known land, not where she knows people that will support her. And she went from round one, got to the final and she won. And I was really proud of her that that means she can do it alone even if her technical crew is not there. I won this tournament and it took me up to top two hundred. I've been top two hundred since last year and it was this tournament that made it impossible. Before that I've always been winner of grade fours and fives, but then Winning a grade three had a special thing in my heart. It made me see so much more that I could do. I mean, the players I played there were top 100, top 50, and I think that's the most special one. The most disappointing would be last year. Last year, when I was close to top 100, and I was invited for the tour in America, I had to play Mexico and in America, Orange Bowl. It was like a very important thing in my life and I didn't get the visa three times to go to this tournament. I was denied. It was very heartbreaking for me. Last year when she was invited for an orange board, but all my efforts and some people to get her a visa proof about it in my Abu Dhabi. Nigerians, Minister of Sport did their best for me. I did the little I could. Nigerian Tennis Federation did their own, but everything they end up on uh, unsatisfactorily. I was number one in Africa last year. I lost my spot 
because of those tournaments and I also had to like postpone my goals and <laughs> it's not nice having to postpone your goals every time. I wanted to be top 100 by the end of the year, which was last year, and I couldn't achieve it also till date. So I think that was my most disappointing moment. I'm begging and I'm looking forward to Nigeria to still come to our head because this is the time. This is the time for her to at least to explore and to show the, the world the stuff she is. Uh, for me, I uh, only no more can get to the highest of tennis ranking, which is world number one, if she got the right thing around her, which is the exposure and sponsorship, because she has what it takes to be up there. The only difference is that the environment she is now, what she has gotten for now, will take her to where she wants to get to if she gets more exposed. Exposure in terms of going around to play as many championships as possible. We need lesser training, more tournaments. The more tournaments she even play will be even better for us as coaches to know where the weakness is for us to work on. So if there's no tournament, there's no exposure, I don't think we'll go far the way we really want it. I thank God for life, for her, for myself and for the rest of my family. Even we do we don't achieve what we want on the, on the tennis something, God still spare, God spare our life, which I'm I'm really hope that all what we lost this year, she must surely get it back within the shortest period of time. I thank Lagos Long Tennis Club. I thank Providence Bank. I give glory to all to my family that our plan for her, may God help me for her to achieve it. Uh, what I would tell her is that she should still believe in our crazy dreams. That she, one day, one fine day, that her dream will come to pass to play and become world number one and put Nigerian map in the world map of tennis. Okay, because I see most tennis players, they give up a lot. I know it's understandable considering the situation we have here in Nigeria, but they have to control what they can control. If it's not in their hands, they just have to play tennis and enjoy tennis and keep working hard and see where it takes them. I don't believe in giving up so quickly because you haven't gotten the chances because then when you get the chance, you have to be able to take it. So I think they shouldn't give up. They have to keep going no matter what.